Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna break down how to grow the absolute best quality cilantro microgreens. I've taken my 10 plus years of growing experience and jam packed this episode with my best tips, tricks, and advice to help you grow cilantro microgreens like a pro. How to get the shells off easily, avoid the common mold growth that most growers get on cilantro, how long to grow them for, how densely to seed, and so much more. Let's get right into it. So the question you should be asking is, why should you grow cilantro microgreens? These are one of my personal favorite microgreens to eat. The flavor of micro cilantro is unbelievable. It's like full-grown cilantro on steroids without the soapiness that most full-grown cilantro has. They are generally considered a more tricky crop to grow, but with the information in today's video, you should be growing cilantro microgreens like a pro in no time. Cilantro micros are very versatile. Unlike crops like broccoli that are only really popular with retail customers, cilantro is popular with restaurants, farmers markets, and retail stores. Every customer category is a good candidate to purchase cilantro microgreens, meaning the demand is very high for this product. The downside of growing cilantro microgreens is that they have a two-week crop cycle instead of the standard one-week crop cycle, which does reduce the profitability compared to crops like pea shoots, radish, or broccoli, and all the other one-week crops that are available for you to grow. However, not many growers are growing cilantro microgreens compared to crops like pea shoots, so it can help give you a competitive advantage in your local market. So how do you grow the best cilantro microgreens? It all starts with the seeds. There are two main options when it comes to the seeds. One is the typical cilantro seed, also known as coriander. So this type of seed you've probably seen in Indian cuisine and other types of, of cooking. Um, it's a circular round seed and it's actually two seeds in one. So from one seed, you actually get two cilantro sprouts. The other option is called monogerm or leisure split seeds. This is where seeds are mechanically split apart so that only one sprout comes up from one seed. Now, both options will work, but in my experience, the germination rates are higher with monogerm seed, so I recommend purchasing that to start with. Johnny Select Seeds and True Leaf both carry monogerm seeds, also known as the leisure split seeds. Next is the growing environment. So cilantro is unusual in the microgreens world as it generally prefers cooler rather than warm temperatures for optimal growth. So cilantro will grow well between 70 and 80 Fahrenheit or 21 to 26 Celsius, but above 28 Celsius, you're gonna run into a lot of issues with cilantro microgreens. I know many greenhouse microgreens growers that just can't grow cilantro microgreens during the summer months because it just struggles to germinate and grow in the heat. Luckily, if you're growing indoors, you have AC and heat, so you can completely avoid this issue with climate control. Humidity levels aren't as crucial to perfect for cilantro, but because it is more prone to mold and dampening off than some of the beginner-friendly varieties, you'll wanna keep it on the lower end of 35 to 50% relative humidity. A great tip for those new here is to use a fine grade of vermiculite to cover the seeds as it'll greatly reduce the growth of mold on your microgreens. And there's a link in the description for a fine vermiculite you can buy easily online to try out. I've had many farms tell me this made a massive difference for their cilantro, so definitely try it if you haven't yet. So now you're ready to plant your cilantro microgreens. From seed to harvest, you're looking at about 15 to 18 days, depending on how warm your grow space is. So 15 days would be for more around 80 Fahrenheit, and 18 days would be around for 70 Fahrenheit. You'll wanna start by mixing the Super Soul recipe for the best results. And for those that don't know, the Super Soul recipe is a combination of the Gaia Green 444 fertilizer and a ProMix HP or MP soil. This is by far the best soil recipe I've found for growing microgreens in my 10 years of uh, experience. So definitely give it a try. And the recipe is on our free growing guide that you can download at microgreensconsulting.com. Once the soil is mixed, you'll wanna add that soil to your growing tray. Next, you'll be planting around 20 grams of seed evenly spread over the tray. While you can seed a higher density, with each extra gram of seed you add, you are increasing the risk of mold and dampening off, which cilantro is more prone to. Also, using a tool like the Little Green Seeding Machine can not only save you a ton of time when seeding, but also reduce the risk of disease, as seeds will be perfectly spaced apart compared to hand seeding, which can be quite difficult to do by hand. So this could help you actually seed a higher density, knowing that the seeds will be evenly spaced apart. Next, you'll want to add the vermiculite if you decide to use it and then mist the top layer of soil on seeds until they are lightly watered. You definitely don't want to saturate the soil at this stage, so your tray should be heavier than before you start watering, but not soaking wet as that'll lead to issues during germination. 
So you'll want to stack your trays for six to seven days until the sprouts are pushing up onto the next tray. An issue growers face when growing cilantro is having the seed hull stick to the microgreens. And this can easily be reduced by misting the trays each day and keeping the seeds moist and having them stacked for an extra day after germinating to keep that extra weight on it to get the plants to push off the hulls. So cilantro will likely germinate in about five to six days, but you'll want to keep the trays stacked for an extra day to encourage the hulls to pop off before going under lights. With these two simple but effective tips, stacking for an extra day and misting daily, you shouldn't have many hulls, if any at all, by the time you harvest your cilantro microgreens. After the six to seven days, your trays are ready to go under lights. I highly, highly recommend you use three grow lights for every four trays of microgreens. This will give your plants enough energy to have the highest nutrient levels and largest yields. The first day under lights, you'll want to bottom water the tray. Generally, 500 ml is a good starting point for daily watering, but you can up it to roughly one liter every other day and skip the daily watering. Of course, your growing environment, including your seed density, will determine how much water your plants actually need. So you'll want to check your microgreens daily to see if they're thirsty or overwatered. From this point on, it's pretty much a couple minutes a day checking if your microgreens need water. Then on day 15 or 18, again, depending on the temperature you're in growing space, you'll want to harvest the cilantro microgreens. Using a sharp knife is the easiest way to harvest your microgreens. You can expect about 120 to 160 grams of harvested product per tray for cilantro. Of course, the more dense you plant your seeds, the higher the yield, but at the higher risk of disease and generally a lower quality product as you plant more densely. Your cilantro microgreens should have the familiar true leaves of cilantro at this point and the tray should be quite full. While the yields may seem low compared to crops like pea shoots, because they are, you can actually sell cilantro microgreens in much smaller unit sizes. About one ounce is a common retail size for cilantro, meaning you'll get roughly four to six clamshells per tray, and each clamshell should sell for about four to five dollars depending on your customer type. So there you have it, my secrets and tips for growing the absolute best cilantro microgreens. This should greatly improve the quality and ease in which you grow your cilantro microgreens, whether you're growing microgreens as a business or just growing them for fun. If you haven't tried micro cilantro in tacos or homemade salsa, it may just change your life. So definitely grow some and try it out. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to the Microgreens Mastery Podcast. To access a wealth of insights, just click the subscribe button, stay notified about each new episode and enjoy all of this wisdom for free. If you're ready to supercharge your Microgreens business, visit microgreensconsulting.com for a gold mine of guides and resources. We've transformed thousands of Microgreens businesses and you're invited to join the success story. Let's stay connected. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at Microgreens Consulting for exclusive content and expert tips and wisdom. If you found this episode insightful, please leave us a review, spread the word, and let's share Microgreens magic with the world. Until next time, let curiosity fuel your growth and may happiness be your harvest. Happy growing, everyone.